This is Alpha Dog from Boston Dynamics, a robot which mimics quadrupeds, or mammals which have four legs made for walking. Legs have a greater effective workspace than wheels. They are capable of traversing objects which may inhibit wheel locomotion as shown in this graphic. Leg locomotion allows Alpha Dog to walk through the rocks with ease. The challenge is staying stable and upright. The two degrees of freedom with the plantigrade leg allows for greater stability at the expense of speed. Quadrupt mammals that utilize the disagreed and the ungulagrade leg structures benefit from increased efficiency at higher speeds. However, quadrupt robots struggle to match the degrees of freedom with biological counterparts due to increased pneumatic complexity of true natural gait generation. This is a leg from the electrically actuated Starlift robot. Each leg has three active degrees of freedom with motors providing hip abduction, hip flexion, and knee flexion. Using the 3D models of the dog leg, computer simulations are conducted to analyze the control theory needed for successful gait generation. The walk is a symmetrical 4B pattern that always has at least 2 feet on the ground and occasionally 3 feet. The walk is the slowest and consumes the least energy. The trot is a symmetric 2B gait that consists of diagonal pairs moving in unison, after of which there is a period of suspension where no feet are in contact with the ground. This gait is efficient for mid to long distances. The canter is an asymmetrical 3B gait that can start with any hind leg. This gait is often used to travel over long distances because it is smooth and energy conserved. The gallop is a symmetrical 4B gait that consists of two subtypes, single and double suspension, where there are two periods with no contact with the ground. This gait, along with the bound, utilizes the actuation of the spine to increase stride length and thus increase speed. Understanding a variety of mammal gates gives an important benchmark for robot performance. Here we see the influence of a flexible spine on a quadruple gate. In addition to implementing flexing spines, current research aims to increase temporary energy storage from dynamic gates. Energy is stored in the muscles of the dog and utilized before the lift off the leg. Typically, in mechanical actuation, a motor is attached directly to what it is actuating. However, in order to mimic the biological muscle and take advantage of the energy storage capabilities, a spring was placed between the actuated link and the drive motor. This is called a series elastic actuator. This spring also protects the gearbox and motor during use. The spring in the series elastic actuator keeps the system passive and absorbs energy on impact. This energy is then dissipated by the leg before the foot loses contact with the ground. This diagram of the starless leg illustrates how the springs help to isolate the electric drive motors from impact and damage. The high q robot is hydraulically actuated, however the active control feedback allows it to mimic the motion of the passive system powered by a spring. However, the hydraulic actuator is unable to store energy like the spring or the starless leg. This is a starless robot being dropped with the motor stopped. It is passively responding as the springs return to equilibrium and the robot bounces. This passive response is easier to program, but the body kinematics are harder to predict. This is the active drop, where the leg actively compensates the spring deflection using the electric motors. This time, Star mimics the response of the real dog drop beside it. Active compliance of the series elastic actuator saves energy and creates more predictable body kinematics. Sensors provide feedback about the amount of force needed to actively respond once the robot contacts the ground. Proper torque is then estimated and applied to the motors to stabilize the robot. A different approach to the issue of compliant limbs is the pneumon part robot, which is powered using pneumatic muscles which contract when filled with air. Limb motion is dictated by interaction between a skeletal frame and pneumatic muscles operating in a rhythmic cycle. It relies on the concept of a central pattern generator. This requires no central computer or feedback sensors to do inverse kinematic calculation. This was our attempt to parametrically model the various quadruped gates using a plantigrade leg structure. These videos highlight the difficulty that engineers face in utilizing inverse kinematics in motion planning. Pre-planning all limb motions is computationally intensive and is an inefficient way to transfer the power through the limbs for locomotion. High cue walking in this angled channel highlights how slow a robot is when utilizing inverse kinematics in a complex environment. The individual joints can each respond to external forces which are concentrated on the robot. Using sensors, the robot can estimate the proper ground reaction force needed at each leg to maintain its desired position and orientation. This feedback provides the quadruped with the stability in a range of environments. Here, Starleth can be seen performing a trot and traversing over obstacles. 